Aloha everyone and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis. This is Monday, January 8th, 2024, around 3.37 p.m. here in Phoenix, Arizona. And we are going to discuss the crazy Schumann resonances. We're going to discuss the recent, very, very recent, near 7.0 earthquake that just happened in the Philippines. And a few more things before we get to the finale about a virgin birth that happened in Chicago, Illinois over the Christmas holiday. So thank you all for joining me in today's video and let's get into it. So we are witnessing right now before your very eyes, some more electromagnetic energy coming in, stoking our atmosphere and causing amplitude here in the Russian charts. We have amplitude here in the Russian charts as well as there's some evidence of that in the Italian charts, which is great. It's nice to see that both of them are somewhat showing relatively similar data as they are on the same planet. And that would make sense to me and everyone else, in my opinion. The amplitude that did hit of the Earth re resonance the hardest, so that's going to show up right about here where my mouse is, was the most amplified was around this time, hour 11, on UTC plus seven over there in Russia, which is their time right here. So that was the first hit was the hardest. And then since then things have been not as powerful, I believe, but let's see how powerful it is using the handy dandy amplitude chart that goes along with this of the first four Schumann resonances. Clearly here, like I said, the first blast was the most potent. Right here, you can see the first four Schumann resonances jumping up in amplitude during this time. We had an amplitude of 64 nanotesla, I believe is the, is the units, the 64 here, of the primary Schumann resonance, which hangs out around a 7.83 hertz frequency. But we, during that moment, the frequency actually went below average around hour 11 here. So it was actually below 7.83 hertz at this moment. It was around a 7.21, it looks like, oh no, a 7.39 hertz. So just slightly below average, nothing too crazy. The lightning continues to anchor in around the planet, but in a few specific spots, I want you to spot them with me here. We are over here in the Texas, Louisiana area, getting a ton of lightning getting anchored into this area. A little bit here in the oceans between Europe and North America, as well as over by Greece and in Australia and Indonesia. So we're going to move along so I can show you the storming and then we're going to get into the earthquake information. So let's just look a little closer where this lightning is anchoring in over here in the United States pretty much all the Midwest, all the way down into the South and sort of centralizing over New, New Orleans actually over here in Louisiana, like I was mentioning. But we're getting a little bit over here in Alabama as well and in Florida, Arkansas, Missouri. It's going North all the way up to the Great Lakes. So pretty much this whole grid point, this whole grid line right here is getting activated as it does and absorbing maybe that lightning energy over here in Honolulu as well. We're getting a little bit over by, by Taipei, over by, by New Chalcedonia, Brisbane, Darwin, and you can see there's some fake stuff going on over here by Norfolk Island. You may want to look into Norfolk Island and what they're up to. I'm unfamiliar with the location. We have a couple hurricanes over here, tropical storms, but not really disturbing anybody too much, so we're not going to focus too hard on that. And yes, storming over here by Greece. It's not as strong on this map, but you can see the lightning was a little more substantial in that area on the other chart we just looked at. So let's continue and look at this recent earthquake. Okay, so here is the 3D feed. Over here is the earthquake location, just north of Australia, north of Indonesia over here in the Philippines. You can see clearly that the activity over here has been heightened on the planet over the last seven days, which you can see here on the left, the dates. But as I go down in time, boop, this is the most recent earthquake. And we'll see what effects that that has. Please be safe, everyone in the Philippines. I hope you're all right. This literally just happened. So no reports really like the what's happening is currently happening in that particular situation. So big love into this area. It looks like it was in the ocean though. So hopefully 
nobody was directly hit and everybody's going to be okay. But the impact of that is shaking around the world a little bit. So the planet did get a nice little shake. It was a, again a near 7.0 earthquake. So very, very powerful. And over by Fiji is shaking now too, just nearby, just as we're filming this video. What else do we have to show you? So solar activity, right? So all of this actually when this earthquake happened was weird because I was filming this, there was coherency. I had a major issue. The ending of my audio of this video, the one I just shot, it just went into pure fuzz and chaos. And I was like, what happened? And it was this earthquake potentially that happened and the whole planet went into an out of coherency a little bit. And I watched it all happen right before my eyes. So it was really interesting to prepare today's video for all of you, for sure. It had some extra elements of the synchronistic. So when it comes to activity from the sun, we're not getting a lot. The last three days, it hasn't been that active. Everything's been kind of C, C class solar flare level. We do have one wave that we can see coming out that may graze Earth on the 13th, but it's nothing we can't handle. You probably won't even notice it. So let's look at the footage real quick. There's that little O ring or that smoke ring I posted about on the 5th, the 6th, the 7th. I barely posted any space weather. Like I said, it hasn't been that busy. Just one decent looking kind of coronal mass ejection and a whole lot of nothing, whole lot of nothing, whole lot of nothing, whole lot of nothing. Ooh, a little tiny one. So I believe that's the one going in the direction we just saw away from Earth slightly. The one we just had today wasn't very powerful at all. Very fascinating to see that the conversation about the climate is continuing, especially with the northern polar vortex energy. And those countries up there are expecting some cold weather and some snow that keeps coming up. I keep wanting to warn you, hey, you guys, you, if you're living up over there, you don't need to be there. If you don't need to be there, don't be there. Because I would say this one, it's about to get pretty intense. I'm looking at the reaction, I would say, from this earthquake in the markets. Like I said, I already filmed this video once. I'm going to see. But it looks like the coherency shifted, but the greediness level on the planet did not shift as rapidly so it's still at a 67 that's where it was when i was filming earlier the top three coins of planet basically are on an upward trend right now which means that everything else is going to be likely on a lower trend or not growing as quickly for themselves but they will catch up when these guys start to slow down the top three so the leaders are leading right now i would say in the market and the followers are going to have their day potentially tomorrow instead. So let's just check in on the solar wind. As you can see, even though there wasn't a lot of data for you over the last three days, the solar wind is still showing me that there was some stuff going on. And we were missing data from the Russian charts as well. That's where these jumps of data are also kind of coming from. So when you see the solar wind starting to get crazy here in the purple, just expect that the technology is going to not work right. Your brain and your energy levels are going to be all over the place. You're going to be tired up in the middle of the night or you're going to be, you know, sleeping really, really hard. <laughs> and your kids and your animals are going to be struggling. It's going to be hard to keep food down. Your appetite's going to be weird. And just look up the, the symptoms of radiation poisoning because... It's just more of that in a way, not poisoning, but eh, it's close. And then you see the effects in the aurora. We're going to maybe get a little bit heightened aurora. The wind is slightly faster, but overall the sun is chilling out. The sunspots are even chilling out a little bit. Our little superstar over here is circling around again and it, thankfully not slamming us with more X flares that I've noticed. And again, so finally, the finale of this video is mentioning again, all my beautiful Patreon members. Thank you guys. All of you. Shout out to all of you on here. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. We've got a second page here, even a couple of y'all. Some of these are free. Some of these are paid. Some have been here for a long time. Some have just joined, but I love you all so much. Thanks for giving me reason to get up in the morning and carry on and do these funny videos with you. Here we are with the virgin birth at the Chicago Zoo of this particular lovely little shark. I wonder if it's actually this guy. I don't think it is, but it's an example of an Epaulette shark or the Hemicillium 
oscillatum uh, over here. And so this, the mother of the shark was in a tank with a male back in 2019. So that's interesting to me. Maybe that DNA kind of got stored somewhere and was used later on. But this shark's mom was in a tank full of females and was born around Christmas Day. And this is a thing that sharks can do. Coral can do this. Um, beings without vertebrae often can do these sort of things. But when you start getting a sp hard spine, this becomes a little bit more of an endeavor. So that's why, you know, virgin births are very special to us mammals and we pay attention to it. Here's the location that this happened over in Chicago. My grid workers over here, I don't know if you're noticing this shape right here. There's a bit of a cross going on with a huge circular perfect circle fountain, the Roosevelt. Roosevelt Fountain here and this is probably a very ancient piece of land because of where it's at in our history here so fascinating over here in the Great Lake that's where this particular situation went down it's always good to look at consider with these things and I would encourage you to keep grid working looking at all these positions and areas as we continue and while the moon goes into a new moon phase very soon here, we are in the sign of Sagittarius, which deals with your lower, the lower area of your abdomen, I would say. So your liver, your sacrum, your thigh bone, your tailbone, your hip muscles, your hip joint, your lumbar vertebrae, your lumbar muscle, that lower back area. So if you're having sort of issues in this area, I would say check out how you're engaging with Sagittarius energy in general. Look up what Sagittarius is are really good for. Perhaps you need to integrate more of that kind of behavior into your life. You've maybe been suppressing it, those sort of behaviors too much within yourself. Or maybe you're super, super like drained in this area and you need to hold back Sag Sagittarius. As you, maybe you've been going a little bit too, pushing yourself a little too hard. It's time to rest. It's time to rest, okay? And this new moon will allow you to have that rest. We're all going to get a little bit of a break from the moon and what that whole thing is happening right now and just as there was a major mission failure in a moon mission here in the United States I believe there's some breaking news about some airplane parts missing that I'm seeing over here on my windows activity so more news to come as always but right now this is what I have to share with you the Mayan calendar day today is the yellow lunar sun again sun moon energy kind of combining today and we're getting that break from the moon energy going more towards some solar energy and the sun is calm as well which is nice so pleasant solar energy my heart goes out to those in the earthquake situation right now and let's keep things going steady as steady as we can onward and upward everybody thanks for joining today's show and subscribing leaving comments and join my patreon again if you'd like to be invited to all my events live streams and so on get the emailed updates these emergencies that's what they're there for join the crew subscribe and stay hit the notification bell leave a comment and let's carry on into world peace 2024 bye y'all